Hello everyone. My name is Ashogan. My team members are Mr. Nawaf and Ms. Mamini Farida. We are going to discuss about an analysis of energy balance for Australia. Australia is the sixth biggest country in the world. They are having the population of 2.5 crore. Out of this, 30 percentage people are youngsters, those who are contributing more in their GDP. Life expectancy of Australia men is 75 and women it is 80. The literacy rate of Australia is 99 percentage. The GDP comes from Australia is most of them from service sectors, then industry sectors, then agriculture. When we talk about the energy, 40 percentage of energy consumed from coal and 29 percentage comes from natural gases. But the amount of renewable energy is very, very less. The sector wise, transportation sectors and industry sectors consume more energy. From the Sankey diagram, it is clear that the coal production is having the lion's share and next we have natural gases. It observed that 63 percentage of electricity comes from coal alone and there is no significant contribution from any renewable energy sources. This is primary energy consumption by source and sector diagram. The source are coal, natural gas, oil, renewable etcetera. The sectors are residential, industrial, transport etcetera. The transportation and industry sector consume more energy in Australia. From the Kaya identity, it is very clear that the carbon intensity is higher in Australia. What is carbon intensity? The CO2 emission for generating particular amount of energy as well as the energy intensity means it is measured as unit of energy per unit of GDP. So, here the energy intensity is Australia is higher than India. Cumulative annual growth rate for various indicators given here, it shows that the net energy imports each and year it is, it, year it is increasing as well as the CO2 emission is higher compared to India for the Australia. But the per capita energy consumption is very good compared to India in the case of Australia. Regarding the significant policies, Australia has the target to reduce 26 to 28 percentage of CO2 emission by 2030 and Australia having the target like large scale renewable energy target and the small scale, scale renewable energy scheme. The large scale renewable energy target, it says that those who are using more energy for their industry operations, some particular amount of energy they should use from renewable energy. The small scale renewable energy scheme, it supports the people those who are using renewable energy sources by providing subsidy. Also, Clean Energy Finance Corporation and Australian Renewable Energy Agency providing fund to the agencies or industry those who are working on renewable energy sources. Regarding energy security of Australia, because of rise in energy price as well as tightening gas market on the east coast as well as numerous power outages, slightly they are having lower side of energy security. However, it can be improved by using renewable energy sources in further days. The energy bottlenecks for Australia is infrastructure mainly. That is, they have to invest more and more money for the electricity transmission as well as storage of energy. Structured electricity infrastructure framework definitely needed for them and working on reformance of electricity market is compulsory for Australia to develop. The main bottleneck is when the CO2 emission is reduced, the coal plant is supposed to be stopped or reduced. So, that time the employee of coal plant will may lose the job, it will spoil their livelihood. For India, the development of life cycle is lifestyle is very important for India. The reason is per capita per capita for India energy consumption is less compared to Australia. It shows that the life quality is supposed to be improved. And the investment for the renewable energy generation is supposed to be improved as as 
Australia's improving day by day. The electricity loss in India is 25 percentage, whereas in Australia just 5 percentage. It shows that we have to give more concentration to save the electricity. For Australia, per capita CO2 is huge in Australia. So, diversification of fuels also they should take care of. And India we have national energy policy, it, it providing or it, it is intent to provide affordable energy with good energy security and improving energy security for the systems. Australia should have the structured long term policy plan like India is having as well as India's NDCs about to reduce 33 to 35 percentage of CO2 in the nearby future. The same kind of plans Australia should take care. Say example, India is installing 175 gigawatt of renewable energy by 2020 that is our target as well as Australia should go ahead with the renewable energy in the faster manner. For the conclusion, Australia having lot of CO2 emissions per capita CO2 emission is very high. They are having lot of uranium energy as well as sunlight. So, they can make use of uranium and sunlight they can start the renewable energy source like solar and uranium. So, that the CO2 emission will be reduced as well as diversification of fuel is very very important for Australia as the energy security can be improved because of that. The energy bottleneck should be taken care of uh, Australia to take a further step for the renewable energy sources. Thank you.